okay if you're tired of hitting a good drive and then getting out there and pull out your iron and then you just chunk it, hit behind it, end up well short of the green. Or maybe you're just hitting your irons poorly in general, fat, thin, uh, can't seem to sit the hit the sweet spot very well, can't seem to get that forward lean that you know that the pros on TV are getting. Well, hey, you clicked on the right video in that case because uh, right after this, we're gonna talk about a really fantastic drill I like to give to my private students to help you get your divot more in front, get you compressing the ball, hitting a lot more solid feeling iron. So don't go away. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit it not just longer off the tee, but also longer and straighter all the way to the green. And that includes hitting some nice, crisp, pro-style irons. You felt it before, but you really, that feeling might be elusive to you and you wanna be able to get it each and every time you're swinging an iron because it's just a lot of fun to hit the ball that way, have total control and effortless power all the way to the green. Hey, that's fun for me if that's what your idea of fun is as well on the golf course, then by all means join us. Hit the subscribe button, uh, like this video at the end if you liked it, and leave a comment down below when you get done. Oh, and don't forget to pick up my two freebies. I have left links to them down below. I've got a 50 tips ebook to hit your longest drives and a 30 minute slice cure video that is like 99.9% .9 effective and you can cure your slice on the range while you're watching it in real time. So check those out down below. I think they're gonna help. So if you've ever been around a really good player, maybe even a tour player uh, plays out of your home course or in your home area, and you've been had a chance to stand near them while they're hitting balls, boy, their irons just sound different, don't they? They sound different than yours. And of course, we would love to get that sound and that feeling it feels to get the irons really hit crisp and compressed. So I have a really great drill for you and then you can actually do this at home and I recommend that you do this every day a whole bunch of times, maybe even warming up before you go to the driving range for a bucket of balls. I'm going to use my favorite chair again and today I'm going to be using this really small towel and this is what I would call a three-step drill. We're going to be going in very slow motion and we're going to be learning to do some different movements than you might be used to when you're hitting your irons. So first let me place the towel in front of the ball where the ball would go and for this we don't need any ball. You want to use a chair at home. You could probably use the wall, but you've got to be really careful with your back swings that you don't hit the wall. Now notice where the towel is placed. My butt is against the wall so I can take a 30 degree bow. But the towel has been moved over to my left foot. So chances are if you are hitting the ball poorly with the irons and you're not compressing it, uh, maybe even hitting it fat sometimes, then it means that your low point is coming in too close to the right foot or behind the ball. You're not holding this lag, we would say. If you were looking at it from the camera view and analyzing it in slow motion, you'd describe this as lag. Okay, and so you're running out of lag a little too soon and running out of forward lean a little too soon, catching the grass behind the ball sometimes, or maybe just catching it right underneath the ball, which is not like the pros do it. See, the pros, and I've got a nine iron here, the pros are gonna hit down on a nine iron about four or five degrees, which also means their low point on average is going to be four or five inches in front of the ball. So I've got this towel placed even further, probably the middle of the towel is six to eight inches in front, almost double what the pros would do. So we're building in a little bit of exaggeration into this drill. Now it's a three-step drill that you'll do just with your right arm only, choking down on the club. Draw the club back to about a third of the way back, a little less than half. Stop here. Now, what I want you to commit to is making sure that your arm and club unit, call this a unit, is never going to cross back in front of the chest again. You're going to absolutely leave it on the side of the body, okay? Because on a 
in a pro swing, as uh, let's say a bogey golfer swing, the arms tend to swing back in front of the sternum again independently. Well, in a pro swing, the arms are getting driven into the ball by the shifting and the turning of the torso. This is going to give us that appearance of lag and the quality of forward lean and compression at the ball. So leave the arm on the side of the body. That's step one. Step two, I'm going to shift to my left post and I'm going to turn my hips and my chest together and that's going to advance the arm into the slot just like that. Now I'm going to hold it here for a second, keep turning even further. And now if I, just in slow-mo, I were to bring this down to its kind of its natural location, you see I'm going to hit on the towel with the club shaft still leaning forward. So if I do this and I'm still going to hit the ground behind the ball, it's simply because I haven't turned far enough. So it's one, two, and then strike the towel, three. One, two, and three. Strike on the towel. You could even throw the towel out of the way like that. So now when we do this with a golf ball, we can actually do a couple of one-armers. And if you had wiffle balls, you could probably do them out in the yard or the patio. It would be one, leave the arm on the side of the body. Two, turn all the way past it. And then three, just because you're out in front of your arm doesn't mean you can't, you got, you're gonna stop here. You're actually gonna keep turning. So in step three, you're actually gonna finish your turn. Otherwise, you'll still hit it fat. So one, two, and three. And I've got a forward divot and I've got the ball being struck first. Got a nice forward lean. I have get a, get a nice solid impact feel with kind of more of a low driving um, trajectory because I did have the club shaft leaning forward, lofting the club to the correct nine iron loft, which is about here. If you're hitting it like this, then you're not hitting it with a nine irons worth of loft. You're hitting it with maybe a, a pitching wedge or maybe a gap wedge worth of loft. If you're hitting your irons really high and short, uh, that might be the reason. And this drill might really help. One, two, stop, and three. Without a ball, you could look like this. And one, stop, two, stop, and swoosh out in front by three or four feet. You can even swoosh out past where the towel would be. All right, let's try a two-hand, slow, easy version of this. All right, now let's try a couple of half swing, L to L style swings. I'm gonna feel this out in front of the strike. It's gonna feel like my chest and hips are actually past the ball and I'm hitting the ball off the side of my, my right hip and thigh. Then we'll slow them down and we'll see if I don't have that nice forward lean, that impact that we're looking for. All right, so you can see there in the slow-mo that I just did that I'm not ever allowing the arms to catch up to the sternum or the navel, but instead always out racing them around the circle to where my arm ends up pinned back across my body this way, and I'm arriving at impact. I am unraveling or uncocking the wrists. I am in the process of throwing the club and uncocking the wrists, but I don't run out of lag and forward lean until here. As opposed to if I didn't turn, I would run out of forward lean back here. So I am throwing the club ahead. I am just timing it and sequencing it in a way. I have lag here, but I am throwing away the lag 
but the lag doesn't get completely thrown away until about 30 inches out in front. Let's look at one more time. Sequencing the shift turn out in front of the strike. Okay, so remember, start with your base with the towel. Start with your one, two, three swings. One, turn the arm through, and then you'll see that you'll be striking the towel, which is up by your left foot. You could even try to knock the towel out of the way, and this will ensure that you've got ball first, turf second, contact. Then you'll evolve your way up, small swings, trying to make the same action happen and then bigger swings, bigger swings, bigger clubs, till finally you're swinging all out and hopefully still turning and shifting in sequence so that the lag is stored here and unleashed here. Hey, I hope you'll give this drill a try. It's one of my favorite drills to give to my students who tend to swing very armsy and don't utilize a lot of lower body or torso turn in their swings. I think not only is it going to help you strike your irons more pure and crisp, but it's also going to get you more distance with every club in the bag because I think it's going to help you get a little boost in your club head speed. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'm Steve. I really appreciate you helping me grow my channel. And uh, thanks to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California for hosting us today. Come on out and hit a bucket of balls sometime. Uh, it's a really great place to do that. Um, hey, and as always, if I don't see you in the next video, I hope I see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Take good care.